Mrs. Caudle's Curtain Lectures by Douglas William Gerald. Read for LibriVox.org by Martin Clifton. Postscript. Our duty of editorship is closed. We hope we have honestly fulfilled the task of selection from a large mass of papers. We could have presented to the female world a lecture for every night in the year. Yes, three hundred and sixty-five separate lectures. We trust, however, that we have done enough. And if we have armed weak woman with even one argument in her unequal contest with that imperious creature man, if we have awarded to a sex as Mrs. Caudle herself was wont to declare, put upon from the beginning, the slightest means of defence, if we have supplied a solitary text to meet any one of the manifold wrongs with which woman in her household life is continually pressed by her tyrannic taskmaster man, we feel that we have only paid back one grain, hardly one, of that mountain of more than gold. It is our felicity to owe her. During the progress of these lectures it has very often pained us, and that excessively, to hear from unthinking, inexperienced men, bachelors of course, that every woman, no matter how divinely composed, has in her ichor flowing veins one drop no bigger than a wren's eye of caudle, that Eve herself may now and then have been guilty of a lecture, murmuring it balmily amongst the rose leaves. It may be so, still, be it our pride never to believe it. Never. End of Mrs. Caudle's Curtain Lectures